Hello friends, uh, I'm Hussein. Um, here uh, I saw the nativity of a famous uh, American football player, uh, Woodley Lewis. And uh, he was a good football player. Um, at a glance, I checked his chart and I saw some subtle paints and I thought it's better to share with you in a video. Um, uh, in fact, uh, here uh, you can see, uh, in fact, um, four uh, charts of the native. The first one is the nativity, the main chart, that is uh, Rossi chart, yeah. And um, uh, it is in fact his best shot. The others are Nawamsha and uh, Shastamsa, that is D6 connected to the disease. And it is D9 uh, Nawamsha that we always use besides the main chart to uh, check the strength of the planet, the strength and weakness, and also some other parts. In fact, uh, along with the best chart or Rasi, we always check uh, some other divisional charts that are connected to the event that we are considering while analysis the chart. Um, at first, uh, the most important thing is that he was a sportsman. And for a sportsman, for a person who is a football player, generally anyone that the sport, uh, Mars and Sun should be strong. But here in his chart, we can see that both Mars and Sun are placed here in, in the sign of Gemini, that is the 12th house of the birth chart. Uh, here is the ascendant, and here is the 12th house. And you can see that both Mars and, Sat and Sun are placed here in the 12th house. Moreover, Mars is in the old age, mean in the last degree of Virgo, uh, and the Sun is in the state of infancy, means in the early degrees of the Gemini. And then being placed in the Dustan Bhava of 12th house, and being in old age and infancy respectively made these two planets super weak. Then what has made him a good uh, football player? The thing is that uh, we should consider third house. Third house is very important for a sportsman and uh, it is in fact the main significator to be checked for the sportsman. Here, if um, we consider, here is ascendant and then the third house is here, that is Virgo. And uh, it has no affliction, no planets closely uh, aspects the most important part uh, of this house. In fact, the cusp of this house is free from any bad affliction. Moreover, its owner, its lord, that is Mercury, is placed here in Taurus, that is the 11th house of the, uh, of the nativity. Very strongly, in a good degree of 23, without any affliction. Then it is a very powerful Mercury and third house. And it is the point. The strong third house and the third load has, have made him a good football player, a good sportsman. Um, another thing that we should consider is his death. Uh, he died uh, of kidney and heart problems. Um, I think uh, at the age 75, yeah, as I see in Astro Data Bank, uh, at the age of 75, and um, uh, it has happened in 29 December 2000. And uh, if you consider Dasha, because uh, when you want to uh, analyze the dynamic of the chart, means the time of the triggering of the event. In Vedic Astrology, we use different systems of dashas that are periods. I think it is equal to the uh, progression of Western Astrology. And here you can see in Vimshutari Dasha, 
death has happened in a Rahu main period and Saturn sub period. You can see Rahu is a malefic and is placed in the ascendant, and Saturn is the owner of the eighth house of the nativity. Uh, and you know, eighth house is the most malefic house in the chart in Vedic astrology. Um, and also it is uh, a Dustan Baba, like 12th house. In fact, 6, 8 and 12 houses are 3 negative houses for all events, especially for the health uh, issues. And if uh, any planet are afflicted by these lords or placed in these bad houses or Dustan Babas, such planets are weak. And Saturn here is the owner of the Ace House, that is Aquarius here, Ace House from the Ascendant, Aquarius. And then it is um, the most malefic planet of the chart. Then death has happened in the main period of Rahu, malefic, and Saturn, the owner of the most malefic house of the chart. And the interesting thing here is that Saturn is placed uh, in Libra. And Libra is connected to the kidney. And um, also it is the fourth house of the chart. And fourth house is one house that is connected to the heart. Considering Gemini aspect, I didn't want to talk about Gemini here because it's a bit uh, in advanced level. But just uh, in a summary, uh, the death has happened in uh, another Dasha system is a Jaimini Charadasha that is sign base instead of considering planets you can see the signs and his death has happened in Gemini Gemini main period and sub period respectively Gemini is here it is 12 hopes of the chart uh, Dustan Bhava house and as I told you a negative house and also containing Genati Karaka Venus and Venus is again the significator of the kidneys and also Mars uh, here that is the uh, sorry Sun here the, the Sun that is the uh, natural significator of the heart imagine this has happened in Gemini Gemini period in Gemini system containing Venus and Sun, kidney and heart. And Venus also is Gennati Karaka. Gennati Karaka is connected to the disease in Gemini astrology. Those who know Gemini understand what I mean. And if I refer to the D6 or Shastamsa of the chart, that is, um, in fact, uh, especially for the disease, you can see that, again, Gemini contains Venus, kidney. And uh, it is the fifth source of this chart that is another house connected to the heart. And you can see that uh, Gemini is aspected by many malefics, including Rahu, Kitu, and Mars, uh, from uh, aspect, uh, in, uh, in fact, considering uh, aspect, uh, sign aspects in Gemini. Okay, thank you very much. It was just a short explanation about the chart of this famous football player. Uh, in the future, I will try to go to more details of the charts. But I just wanted to point out some uh, important uh, parts connected to that. Uh, in fact, uh, connected to Vedic astrology. Thank you very much for watching my video and listening to my explanations.